Afternoon, everybody. KB5 MIQ Big Boy and Old Ham Radio Cat up here in my lap. Got a little short intro to the video I've got going for this week. Uh, went down to KI5 TKY's QTH today. He's rebuilding some old tube gear, and I thought I'd, he was gracious enough to give us a tour of it and the uh, status of one of some tube gear he's rebuilding. Guys, you know, we're talking about trying to get everybody on HF if we can, especially new techs, and uh, gear is expensive and you know there's a lot of these old tube rigs still left out there old heath kits and everything on the sun one thing about those old rigs you may have to get somebody to help you do some work on them but unlike these newer rigs that are so miniaturized relatively there's a little more room to work on them so good way to learn a hobby and uh, have some fun doing it and uh, Tim I appreciate you showing us all the stuff you got down there uh, after a video with Tim, the slides will be on here about the uh, upcoming uh, Ham Fest, especially the four states, Amateur Radio Club tailgate sale in October, in April, April 29th. Guys, yeah, we hit 881 on subscribers and uh, trying some shorts out and trying to fix and try to learn how to do some pinned videos on the comments here of this. See if we can get my watch hours up and uh, I appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel and, and enjoying hearing me talk like this. This is KB5 MIQ Big Boy 73. Hey everybody, it's KB5 MIQ Big Boy. I'm down here at KI5 TKY Shack Tim. He's going to graciously read to walk us through some of his projects he's got going on here. Tim's rebuilding a bunch of tube gear and uh, got a real cool looking shack so I'm going to Flip this around and we're going to talk to Tim here and walk us through the stuff. Let me flip this. There's KI5 TKY. Y'all seen him before up there, Mina yeah. and stuff. Well, what you got going here, Tim? This is my old Grundig receiver here. It's just a receiver. It's about a 50 model German made receiver. Had a power surge about two weeks ago and I got a big hum in it. I changed out the bridge rectifier and it corrected part of it, but I still got. Still got a home in it. I hadn't found the rest of the problem yet, but I was trying to get this thing back going. It'll still play, but it's just got a home. Got a home in the background? In the background all the time, yeah. Okay, well, that's a clean looking old radio. Now, this yeah. is the one here that kind of got you hooked on this hobby, wasn't it? Yeah, so this was, this was my first receiver here that I got a year and a half ago. And uh, I got it and learned how to find my way through the bands and everything. Learned a lot on it, you know. That's old Hammerlin, what is that? A HQ-180. HQ-180 and it's got the matching speaker there above it? Yeah. And what's this old radio here on top? Ah, this is my grandpa's old radio he had. It's going to be a project one of these days, but <laughs> it's on the tail end of the <laughs> oh, I understand. Trying to, that was my grandpa's old what is that? A silver tone. Silver tone, okay. Yeah, my cousin got a Bonham brought that to me. Their mother had it down there. And they brought that to me last year. I said, boy, this is ironic. I'm getting into radios and y'all brought me this radio <laughs> of my grandpa. Oh, that's cool. That is good. Yeah. All right, let's go on down here and see what else you got working on here. Got this old amplifier from uh, K1EMT. Kent and W9LEO. Yeah, W9LEO. W9LEO had it at one time, and Kent had it, and there was something wrong with it, and they couldn't get it to working. And Kent just offered it to me, said, if you want it, come get it. You, if you like to work on stuff like that, well, it, it took me about two weeks to find a problem on it, but I finally got it going. Okay. And just so everybody knows, uh, when he was testing on this, he was using a dummy load, or if I was on the air, I was here as control operator. Tim's working on his general class right now. But I don't want anybody to think he'd be making any laws by using an amp on the air. But it's a good-looking amp, and uh, doing some good work with it. All right, what we got else up here, Tim? Well, this is my regular radio I talk on all the time. Yeah, 991. Yeah. 
It's been a good one so far, except for when I broke this knob. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I advise don't pick it up by that uh, this thing here, whatever you call it, the incline deal. Yeah. Do not pick it up by that thing. <laughs> That'll do it. You know, I just got me a power supply down at uh, MTC. MTC there in Paris. A used one, got a real good deal on that. This is some old heat cut stuff I picked up. I checked these out, both of them working, but I hadn't I hadn't got them in line or anything yet. But uh, I'm waiting on my get my heat kit receiver and transmitter going. Put them in line. You got a speaker and a 8800 up here. That's another one you got off K1ENT too. Yeah, and right. this too. He's helped me out a whole lot. Well, that's good. That's what hams do, help each other out any way we can. It's good test yeah. equipment. Yeah, yeah, I got a oscilloscope and a old heat kit frequency generator. An old analog bolt and home meter. Okay, let's explain All what stuff works good. Talk and see what you got going on here on this SB301401 set you got broke apart here. Well, I cleaned this thing up. They are both pretty nasty when I got them. And uh, I got this got this receiver working pretty decent. But uh, I got a capacitor kit I'm going to put in, change all the electrolytics on it. And I got a few crystal holders here that's loose, and I ordered some more of them. I got, a, I think, about three or four of those. The crystals won't even fit tight in them. I'm going to change those out get the tubes back in it. Once I get those electrolytics in it and the tube and a good alignment on it, I think it'll be good to go. And this is the 401 that went with it. But I hadn't really even, I just kind of took it apart and cleaned it up a little bit. It's the only thing I've done to it so far. Well, that's real good, man. That's, that's one thing showed you guys that, you know, you can start out with old gear and, and learn a lot from it and still get on the air. The only thing is older gear won't have in its warp bands, but it's still good usable gear that you can use and good way to get on the air. Tim, we appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, Thanks man. for showing all this stuff to us. Anytime.